So, I'm a huge fan of the original two Paper Mario games. I also like Super Paper Mario, but not nearly as much as I like the first two games. I've already made several videos on my opinions about the games and what I want from a new game, and it's not much different than your average Paper Mario YouTuber. I just want the series to go back to the way it used to be back in the first two games. And that's where Paper Mario Origami King scares me. First of all, when we first look at the trailer, clearly we have a story, an actual story. This is already a huge step up from the previous two Paper Mario games where it was so simple a kindergartner could come up with a better plot. But this already looks better than both the previous games that came prior. After further analyzing the trailer for myself, there are quite a few key things missing from what we would consider a core Paper Mario game. First of all, we have a lack of partners. In this game, it was made clear that we will be teaming up with Bowser and his minions throughout the story. You would think that this would imply partners, but no. I can confidently say that this game once again will not feature partners in any way. It's like the previous two where you have one main partner and that's it. He doesn't do anything during gameplay to majorly impact the way the game is meant to be played. He's simply there for story purposes, therefore useless during actual gameplay. People are still not sure how the battle system will work in this game, but after seeing some gameplay footage of the game and the way the battles are played out, it's clear to me that they are trying something new. However, when it comes to the actual battling, once again, I'm a bit nervous. The last thing I want to see is the sticker slash card mechanic. For the sake of this video, we're going to be calling it card mechanic. The last thing I want to see is the card mechanic to return from Sticker Star and Color Splash. That was the worst thing that has ever happened to Paper Mario, was the battling. Now we don't have 100% confirmation on this, but this is what I think will happen with this new battle system. I do unfortunately believe we will still be using the card mechanic from previous games. What makes me say that? Well, take a look at this. Clearly the attacks are all condensed into one menu. By that I mean that jump and hammer are both in the same tree of attacks, rather than being separated from each other like previous games having their own tree of abilities. Not only that, but the layout of this menu screams cards. It looks to be a large menu because of the fact that we will always have extra card options for other moves that we pick up along the way. Clearly they learned from the previous two that we shouldn't be able to run out of attacks, which is why hammer and jump will always be in the list no matter how many times we use them. I do believe that we will have to purchase and find attacks like the previous two games, rather than finding specific badges and equipping them like the older titles. It seems clear to me that each card will be able to be used once before it vanishes from our inventory, which is not the way it should be, but it's what we get so... I feel like it's pointless complaining about this point. If this is the case, then we can kiss XP goodbye as well. As with this mechanic, there is no reason for FP or BP. So if there is some sort of leveling mechanic, it will resort to HP, which is probably why we see Mario's HP fluctuating constantly in the trailer. I do unfortunately believe this is the only thing that will be upgraded along the way, which would at least give a reason to fight in this game, but the reward is much less exciting. My last problem is more of a personal issue. It's the title of the game. The first time I laid my eyes on the title, it scared me more than anything because it implied that this was Sticker Star 3. But I was open-minded and it sort of paid off because of the fact that we are actually getting an interesting story and that's really saying something. I am genuinely curious what will happen in this game after seeing the trailer. However, I personally want more info on the gameplay before I decide whether this game is worth my time or not. So far, I have more questions that need answers. As you guys know, I love speculating. However, during the speculation of this game, I definitely come off more negative than positive. And I don't want to turn you guys off from the game because of my opinions. So please take everything that I'm saying with a grain of salt. Clearly, I don't know everything, and I'm not going to know everything because I didn't develop the game. I'm simply looking at what we have so far and going based off of how I feel the game will turn out. Remember, we still know hardly anything about this game. So far, for all I know, maybe this game will be the next great Paper Mario game. 
But based off the gameplay we have so far and the logic of how Paper Mario games have been going recently, I'd say this is a glorified Sticker Star sequel with some differences. It's definitely not trying to return a formula, that's for sure. And it's not trying to be as different like Super Paper Mario was to the original games. Clearly a new take on the Paper Mario franchise. And whether it turns out good is really up to Nintendo to figure out. They already know what we want, but they still insist on trying new things rather than forfeiting to us and just giving us exactly what we want. This game has so much potential to be great, but we will just have to wait and see. The only thing that is clear is that we have a new Paper Mario game on the Switch and I'm really interested to find out more. I'm just really hoping that this is not a Sticker Star 3. I'm really hoping that they did incorporate some older mechanics while also fusing some of the old mechanics with the new mechanics. How they can do that, I don't know at this point, but I'm very scared of what I'm seeing right now. And yes, I love Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. It's one of my favorite games of all time. That's why I really want this freaking franchise to succeed. But I don't know, guys. I'm really, really, really cautious about this game so far. It looks way better than Sticker Star and Color Splash. I will give it that. The lands just look so much better in part... And the places you go to in this game by themselves are already so much nicer looking. And yes, I do think that they're nicer looking than Color Splash as well. Even though that game looked really nice to begin with, I think this game has just a better feel overall to it and gives me a better impression on what to expect. But when it comes to the core gameplay, I'm scared. I really just hope Nintendo is kind of taking feedback and if they're going to go in a sticker star direction, fine, whatever, but please, just just give us more because obviously what was done before is not working and it needs a complete rehaul and i'm hoping that that's what this game is i am excited to hear more about this game in the future once again guys please don't let my opinions completely turn you off from playing the game if you're interested i'm really happy for you guys and i respect your opinions guys if this is going to be your first paper mario game i implore you please try this game and if you really like it more power to you but if you want my opinion go play go play paper mario thousand year door or the first one or whichever one one of those two those are my personal recommendations they are such phenomenal games and there's a reason why i want this series to succeed it's because i know the potential of this game franchise remember as well that this video is full of opinions for all i know maybe there's badges maybe there's fp in some way but I don't know. I'm just going based off of what I have and I'm just very realistic and I'm not going to sugarcoat my opinions. I think that this game is going to be uh is going to be a better color splash. It's going to be a much better color splash, but to me that doesn't mean that it's going to be a great Paper Mario game. It may be a great game, but that doesn't mean that it's a great Paper Mario game for me, but here's what we have and I'm not going to complain about it anymore. Please, please, please let me know what you guys think about this game in the comments. I'm super curious to see what you guys have to say about this game. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys liked the video, please be sure to give it a like. Make sure you subscribe for more videos. And I think I'm going to live stream Paper Mario 1 and 2 before this game comes out. I feel like I have to go back to Paper Mario 64 at least once before this game. And then it's kind of funny because I actually recently played through uh, Thousand Year Door, but... Uh, I, th I can actually do it again. I will actually do it again just so I can stream it for you guys. Thanks for watching guys, and I will catch you in the next video. Have a fantastic day.